Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and in this GarageBand for iPhone quick tip, we're going to be looking at one of the new features in GarageBand version 2.2. So this is the fourth video in this series, and today we'll be looking at what's probably the most highly touted new feature in the new GarageBand, which is the Alchemy Synth. So Apple have been uh, pretty happy with this, I think, which is why they've put it right here on the front screen of our keyboard. We can also access it via the More Sounds option here, and it's right there under the keyboards. We've got the Alchemy Synth there, but we can jump in straight from the front screen here, so let's do that. Now, I've already selected an instrument here, but I'll jump back out just so that we can go back to this. So within the Alchemy Synth, we've got all of the different types of sounds. So we've got our arpeggiated bass, leads, mallets, pads, rhythmic, sound effects, soundscape, string, synth, and vocals. And within each of those, we've got a whole heap of different instruments that we can choose from. And the arpeggiated ones are pretty cool, so let's just choose one of these. Uh, I like the sci-fi synth up. So very cool. And if you've used the, the keyboard for different types of instruments before, you'd realize that, especially for synth instruments, you can actually have some that use sort of pitch shifting as you move around that you can actually adjust that up here. So we can have glissando, which means to, you'll scroll up and down like that, and then scrolling, which means we can actually move the keyboard up and down. It's a very cool bass sound. So if we want to change that sound, tap on here, select there, and then we can go through and select any of the other instruments or the categories and then instruments that we like here. So the soundscapes, and vocals. So a whole heap of different options that we have here. The vocals are actually pretty cool. So let's just play that. Now obviously these are synth sounds, so they're not sampled sounds, so they're not going to sound, like, vocals won't sound like actual vocals, um, but it, it just gives you a really diverse library of different sounds, effects, pads, things that you can put behind your track um, that's really going to add to it. So it's a really good option. Unfortunately, the option is only available on iPhone 6 and above. So if you're owning an iPhone 5 or lower, unfortunately, you won't have access to the Alchemy Synth. Not 100% sure on why that was the decision, but perhaps the hardware is not quite up to some of the, the cool things you can do with these synths. So that's that's about it for it. It's There's a lot more that you can look at and play with. A whole bunch of instruments, a whole bunch of options that you can explore in there. But it's definitely a very cool addition and I hope you jump in and have a play and enjoy it and let me know how you go. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video.